At six months of age, Evelyn is smaller than most newborns. But this week, her parents are hoping against hope that their six-pound daughter will get major surgery. Like hundreds of thousands of children worldwide, Evelyn was born with a cleft lip and palate. She has failed to thrive because she has trouble eating. In the United States, surgery remedies this harmful and disfiguring condition very early. But in Guatemala, because of harsh poverty, overburdened hospitals, or the inability to travel from remote areas. Children with cleft palates must often endure humiliation and debilitation for years. Volunteer surgeons with Hearts in Motion are here in Zacapa, Guatemala to perform free surgeries that will change the lives of Evelyn and many other children forever. Since 1988, Hearts in Motion has brought doctors, dentists, nurses, and aides to Guatemala four times a year for this mission. Evelyn's family is one in a long line of people who have traveled to Zagapa on screening day. They wait for an examination and they wait to be told whether the doctors believe their condition can be corrected during the week of surgeries they can perform. Not only patients with cleft palates are here. Children and some adults arrive with tumors to be removed, scars that need correction, and other conditions. Too many patients for the six surgeons to take everyone. One year ago, Santo was one of the lucky ones. Hearts in Motion doctors saved his life by removing a huge tumor on his face. But afterwards, his face collapsed to the point that his nose all but disappeared. So why we, we could have reconstructed it immediately, but we couldn't because we were losing two blood. Here with his wife, he hopes now that more surgery might give him back a face. Screening day is over. It is five o'clock. Time for the surgery schedule to be announced. Some must be disappointed. The doctors tell Santo that his surgery will require bone to be harvested from one of his ribs. They do not think they can fit him in on this trip, although they will try. Santo's wife says, it's all right. She understands. Every day I thank God that you saved his life a year ago. Evelyn is first on the schedule the next day. Dozens of others like Sylvia, Victor, Michael and Melvin have also been told to be ready for surgery on one of the succeeding days. But surgery is only a part of what Hearts in Motion does in Guatemala. In the course of the week, Hearts in Motion medical and dental teams also travel by bus to remote Guatemalan villages where little care is available. They see patients needing treatment for painful conditions. They extract hundreds of teeth to end villagers' chronic toothaches. They hand out reading glasses to people who haven't been able to read for years. They teach children proper dental care. Back in Zacapa, orphans and children whose parents cannot care for them are cared for in a Hearts in Motion facility. Later in the year, other Hearts in Motion teams will make the journey to Zacapa to treat orthopedic, gynecologic, and other problems. For some cases that cannot be addressed in Guatemala, they will raise the funds to bring the child and parents to the United States for surgery. The week of surgeries is full of events. 
A boy who was born with an extra thumb sees the dermatologic surgeon and walks out with something he hasn't had in 15 years, a normal looking hand. As one small patient drifts off under anesthesia, her hand relaxes and two Kate Sales fall on the floor, coins her mother had given her to ease the stress of surgery. The week is over. All of the surgeries have been successful. For the volunteer nurses, delivering Evelyn back to her parents is a special joy. She'll be able to eat normally. The miracle of this surgery will make a lifetime of difference for Evelyn and these other children. And there's an unexpected bonus. Some last minute cancellations mean that one of the last surgeries is Santos' facial reconstruction. After many hours in the operating room, the surgeons are tired but happy. Santo has his face back.